Here's how to create a customer value proposition design. Value propositions today is more relevant to anyone. A value proposition design is relevant to everyone across Australia and across the world. Every organisation is seriously challenged. Does your current business model work? And in fact, do you know how to engage with your customers? What got us here won't get us there. There's a need for organisations to reinvent themselves. Think of transport, media, tourism, retail and travel. What's their next level? Now more so, we've seen a power shift from the organisation to the customer. We all want products, services and experiences on our terms. Where we want them, how we want them, when we want them. And if organisations can't do this, we'll go somewhere else. It's all about shaping and delivering value from our perspective. What do we do? It's about strategy from the outside. How do we put ourselves into our customer's world? What are their stories? What are their experiences? What are their conversations? And what are the emotions they're feeling? What's important to them? We need to be curious about our shift and thinking from an inside organisation to an outside customer's perspective. We also need to be curious and make observations in more creative ways. This will provide us with delivering real value. It's only value if it's perceived to be value in the eyes of the customer. What we need to do, we need to understand our customers define who our customers are and understand their drivers, their barriers, their motivations and their challenges. Then we develop the value proposition. Remember, you're not your customer. How can you think like a senior or an aged care individual when you're not in aged care? How can you think like Generation Y when you're not or a first home buyer? If you think you know the issues of your customer, you are wrong. Don't make assumptions. Once you understand your customer's desires, then you can develop your value proposition. You want to develop a meaningful value proposition that's relevant and another one that's meaningful for post COVID-19. Creative thinking is pushing your imagination. It's about pushing yourself to break out of the current frameworks. Creative techniques help us to unbuckle structure and allow more time to foster and explore our imagination. And we can create lots of ideas and develop unique solutions when we harness to do this. In the startup world, we talk about product market fit. It's the moment where there's traction between the customer and the product. This comes back to observing customers and understanding why and doing this in a creative way so we can design products, services, experiences to deliver a product market fit. I want to share our tool. This will help frame customers' requirements, explore the needs, wants and, and desires, and it goes beyond the functional. Uh, understand the positive experiences, relish these, empathise with the negatives um, and get rid of the, the, the negatives. Once we do that, we immerse this all together through an emotional journey. This is a customer-led process. We then need to match the consumer needs to the organisational strengths and create a mutually benefit proposition. The alignment of matching customer requirements to organisations' capabilities will determine the strength of your value proposition. The more we can match positive growth and positive experiences, it's a win-win for everyone.